I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to look at the different distortion plugins in FL Studio. So there's five uh, distortion plugins in FL Studio. Uh, the first of which we're going to check out is the Soft Clipper. So I've got this drum break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the volume up so I get some uh, clipping on this. So you can see now that this drum beat is going up and clipping. So we probably want to remove that. Uh, something like this would be perfect for that. If I turn on this uh, soft clipper, I've pulled down the threshold to engage it. So at zero, it's just cutting it straight at zero with the threshold. So all those, the, basically the, the frequencies going above zero are just completely snipped off. And then as you pull down the threshold, that just gets lower where it's cutting it basically. So maybe introducing a bit of distortion. There. Back to complete zero. So the next one we're going to take a look look at is the fast dist, uh, the fruity fast dist. So this is a pretty digital sounding distortion. Let's take a listen to how it sounds. So you've just got the pre, the threshold of the distortion where it kicks in. You've also got two modes, A and B, so you can see that the waveform on the right-hand side is moving, so A is a more crushing style. You can really raise the threshold on that to engage it, drive it a bit more with pre. And pre is, um, sorry, and post is your output vo uh, volume level. Can go from all the way to crazy to quite subtle on that one. A nice distortion. So the next one we're going to look at is the blood overdrive here. So this one's got a filter in it, which is quite cool. So let's just engage it by upping the preamp. So you can hear it coming in and coloring the sound there. Color knob, so you can change how bright and how dark the distortion frequency is. You can hear that, it's almost a filter sweep. You've got control over the frequency of a bit pre-distortion. And then there's a post-distortion filter as well. It's a low pass there. There's also a knob if you dare to press it, times 100. <laughs> so the frequency level, the volume is times the 100 here. Yeah, it's pretty mad. <laughs> you can uh, turn down the post gain. I mean. So that's a look at the Blood Overdrive uh, distortion plugin. Let's take a look at the next one, which is the uh, Fruity Squeeze Distortion. So this is more of like a bit crush style. They call it square eyes. A few different knobs on here. It's also got a filter. You can change that to pre or post. And the mix level here, completely dry. Different types of filters as well. Notch, band pass, high pass and low. Okay, pretty squeeze, pretty cool. Moving on now to the wave shaper. This is a uh, wave shaping distortion plugin. So just straight graph, nothing's happening. You can introduce some distortion by basically moving the points around the uh, and creating a new wave. So this is the wave that's being applied as distortion. It can go all the way from completely subtle, slight bit of distortion, to absolutely destroying the sound. all the way into square wave territory there. So some of the presets are great, let's have a listen. 
This is one of my favorites. Completely new tone on that. So yeah, have a play and see how you go. That's the Wave Shaper. So in this video, we've looked at the five distortion plugins in FL Studio and the different types of tones you can achieve with them.